Hi friends, editing Michaela in here really, really, really quickly before I start out the video. I just want to apologize, the intro had cut off really weirdly after I had like started my screen recordings. I, I don't know what happened there, um, but I wanted to um, just thank Courtney again for joining me today on this video. Um, I didn't do a really good job of explaining what this series kind of entails, um, so I figured I'd pop on quick to do that. Um, this diamond painting community chat series basically is when I connect with um, a diamond painting YouTuber, an artist, a small shop owner, things like that, and um, we chat and I write questions and we chat like I'm interviewing them and I just I want this to be a space that you guys get to know the community a little bit more. Um, so I kind of just wanted to preface that because I didn't really talk about it too much in the actual video with Courtney, um, and the intro cut off and I was like, no, I don't know what happened. I need a better setup, but it's fine. Um, Courtney, thank you so much again for being my little, like, I'm not going to call it a guinea pig because like, that's not a great way to word it, but thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had such a fun time filming it with her and she's such a sweetheart. She's one of my best friends and just such a, a sweet, kind soul. So go subscribe to her down below. And okay, now let's really, really, really get into the video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I'm doing a little bit of a brand new series that um, I actually did quite a while ago, a couple years ago on my channel. Um, if you guys were around for that time, I called it the coloring community chat. Basically, I would chat with people in the adult coloring community, artists, YouTubers, things like that. And I haven't done that series in quite a bit. So I decided to go ahead and kind of revamp it, redo it since I've been doing diamond painting now for getting on to two years, actually. Um, and I don't exactly know what I'm calling this series yet, so we're not going to pretend I do know it right now. Um, but today I have the lovely Courtney, or Diamonds Are Girls' best friend. Welcome, Courtney. Hey. Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Excited to be here. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. Thanks for joining me. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what kind of videos you make on your YouTube channel. Well, my channel is actually very similar to yours since it's uh, mostly diamond painting. Um, actually, it's all diamond painting and anything <laughs> to do with diamond painting. Um, I like to do the how-to videos. I have I have a series, um, Artist Highlights, where I mm. go and I go by, um, like, a kit that was from a certain artist and I haven't done that for a while but um yeah it's, it's kind of whatever I feel like at the moment actually <laughs> I've <laughs> seen that it, it was a really good I like that series it's a fun one I just haven't for a while let me get back to it yeah life life sucks life happens <laughs> summer <laughs> yeah very busy summer happens. <laughs> yeah um tell us a little bit about your diamond painting backstory Ooh, so mine's like a little crazy because I bought like some, I don't even know, it was some ad on Pinterest for a couple of diamond paintings. I was like, oh, I love all things crafts. So I was like, that sounds fun. So I ordered it and it got in and, and I didn't touch it for like a couple of years. And so then we moved up uh, to where we're living now and uh, we live on a lake. So we had a boat that's just a super old boat. And um, we had it out, and we usually move it to a place that's a lot safer than where we are on the lake. But that night we didn't, and it just happened to be that it stormed like crazy. Mm -hmm. So um, it's like, long story short, it ended up hitting some rocks, and it's sinking. And so there was like a Saturday where we went, and we were like trying to get it up on the rocks by the beach where we are. And it was just there was only so much we could do because the waves were just coming in and we managed to like <clears throat> kind of anchor it onto a tree and then and it's just kind of half sunk in the water moving around so it's super super stressful day so then um, we're like well we can't do anything more with it let's go up and we watch general conference for um for church and so I'm like I can't even be calm right now like we're just so stressed so I was like I'm gonna go get a craft out for the kids I was looking through all the coloring stuff and everything and then I found these diamond paintings um that I'd had from forever ago I'm like oh yeah let's try this so I pulled them out and I started it and then uh once I got the hang of it because at first I was like what the heck does this pen do and I was trying to pick them up <laughs> with the uh without the wax and so oh. I'm like sticking them on like this and then like putting them down like this isn't very fun <laughs> and then uh, once I looked it up because I youtube it and um then I think I stumbled across uh 
Katie's how to for the herb, like for beginners. And then, uh, <laughs> and then as soon as I actually got the hang of it and I started putting the diamonds down, I was like, <sighs> like the stress just <laughs> melted away. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is amazing. So then I was like, ever since. So. That is such yeah. a funny backstory. Like that is so unconventional. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'd had them for so long before I actually started it. So. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome that you pulled it out and you were like, oh, yeah, I like this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At first I was like, this is not for me. And because I can figure it out. But then once, yeah, once you figure it out, you're like, wow. <laughs> right. I feel like yeah. when you first look at that, like at diamond painting, it's like, this has to be so tedious. Like, how does anybody like this? But I don't understand even why I like it. I hate tedious oh. things. Why do I like this? <laughs> I like tedious things and I so I'm not surprised I liked it but yeah yeah it is very <laughs> tedious it's like very I mean I'm a I do crochet and um, knitting too and it's very one stitch at a time so that's what, very much what this is too yeah okay well that makes sense then they're very similar crafts so yeah yeah that makes sense <laughs> um what is the number one item currently on your diamond painting wish list Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> There's so many and it changes from day to day. But um, and you know, what's crazy is sometimes and I, I know we've talked about this before, but sometimes there's one that's like gets released. And it's not even on your radar and then it's gone. And then you either see like a sneak peek of it later or you see it finish or it just keeps going on your mind. And you're like, yep. wow, why did I not pick that up? I have to have it. Yep. So um, probably I'd have to say I'm looking at it on my phone right now. So I'm looking at barefoot beach because i saw lizette with uh crafts uh was that crafts and tiles i always say that wrong um <laughs> her finished one and i have uh beauty in the clouds which is the other one by mm -hmm. emily james the artist that might be my number one um that or uh candy waterfalls or Ooh. turning of the seasons those are those are probably my top ones right now those are so, very so pretty yeah, they're gorgeous Ooh, are you like saving them for like a rainy day as Katie would say or like yeah um, yeah um if I were to get them I don't know I have some that I I save for a rainy day like beauty in the clouds I is totally like my top favorite right now that I own and I'll probably save that for a rainy day but at the same time I want to put it up mm. because it's totally one that I would hang up so I'm like maybe it'd be perfect to finish it and then get it up and then I always have it rather than in a box somewhere so that's very mm. true. Hmm. Yeah, it depends on the kit. So that's a super fair point. Didn't think about that. What is your go-to putty or wax when you're diamond painting? Uh, let's see. It kind of depends on the weather. Is that is that how it is for you too? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, in the winter, and I've only been diamond painting like a year, so I I really like cats. Um, it's cat diamond painting putty. I think is what she's called. She has a channel. Yeah. And um, she just speaks for Diamond Art Club. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of people will, will know her, but um, she makes a putty and I love it. It's the smell of it is so good too. I don't know if she has, I think she has different scents. Yeah. Um, so I'll use that kind of in the winter, but I've tried that in the summer and it's not as much in the summer. No, not Patsy. I do like Patsy Putty, but uh, I haven't tried a whole lot, but I like this one. Is the Creations more in? Is that what it is? Oh, I've never tried that before. Mm, yeah. Creations I've heard more. good things. Like super. There you go. Ooh, it's such pretty packaging too. I love the like holographic looking like on the packaging. Yeah, yeah, I like that too. I know so much is pre presentation too, <laughs> but it I really like those. Is. And then I'll use wax on anything that is um like ABs because it doesn't stick as much. So I really like the Diamond Art Club now because you really because it eats up your wax the ABs. So I just twist it and then it's super easy to just get new wax. Um, but I do, I actually got my favorite idea with ABs from you is um, using the tweezers. <laughs> so it really does work so much better. It's a little bit more tedious, but at the same time, you're not losing that top coating. It's I so, really yeah. like that. It depends on the kit. If I just kind of like not, the ABs aren't like great, then I'm like, what is it on or something? That, that's actually very fair. You know what I did learn more recently is that Randa's Crafty Corner Putty works really well if you're using them with round ABs. So I've been, whenever I've been multi-placing round ABs, I use the putty. I don't actually use the tweezers. Yeah. Does it, it doesn't take the topping off? Mm-mm. Oh. I know. All right. Well, text me that. 
I will. <laughs> because I want that. I'll order it. Like, I tried it with squares, but it wasn't. I don't like the sound of the AB squares crunching in with putty specifically on yeah. between drills. I don't like it. I'm fine with tweezers for squares, but not rounds. Definitely has like a glass scraping yeah. against glass sort of sound. Yeah. yeah uh-huh. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. I'll try that. Later. I've heard a lot about that putty, though. You need to try it. It's so good. Yeah try it <laughs> and I'll try what you what you just suggested too so <laughs> swap yeah. ideas the creation Marin oh yeah yeah uh-huh. <laughs> um what is your favorite diamond painting that you've completed up until this point oh hands down Satura oh, uh, Margaret Morales Diamond Art Club oh my gosh and you know what um DP with sparklers has a uh what do they call it uh like enhancements enhancement pack yeah, where they'll send you the whole enhancement pack, and then they will um, tell you where to put the specials. So, but you know, it was so charted, charted so perfectly. I'm so glad I did it that way. I kind of wanted to get it again. Do it. And then um, do it with the enhancement pack, but do it. I don't know, we'll see if it actually happens. <laughs> I need to stop enabling, but do it. <laughs> I know, you're very enabling. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's really cool. I want to try out one of the DP with Sparklers enhancement packs at some point. That could be a good one to do yeah. it on. Yeah. I have that Fox one from, it's the Rita Konya. Mm. It's the little Fox one. It's actually, I don't know, do you ever torture yourself and look and see what is on the um, discontinued? Uh, yeah, all the time. Uh-huh. I, I did that. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad I picked up that Fox because I have that one. And they have the enhancement pack, but it's only like $13. Oh. So I'm like, well that's perfect because you can try that out and see if it's something I actually like and to do but I like making my own enhancements too so So I'm not that creative so I just would rather someone tell me what to do (laughs) I like both I have some kits that I I won't do anything with and some kits that I like changing so no that's fair yeah (laughs) um what is your number one unicorn kit Oh, I just, you know this already. I just got my unicorn kit. You did? Yeah, it was Coney again. Um, in a moth witch. Nice. And it's funny because when I was, like, grabbing it, and I, I, I managed to get it, and then I went and instantly went to your video that you could have the post review, and I was like, I have to see it finished again. <laughs> I remember you messaged me that. I was like, I was just a baby. <laughs> no, you did great. Thank you. I feel like I'm still like that with my, my channel right now. I feel like I keep changing my intro. Like, you have your intro down. I'm like, <laughs> my everywhere. I keep changing it because I keep forgetting what I'm going to say. But, it's... yeah, I'm excited for that one. But other than that now, my next unicorn kit has to be um, Seize the Day, and it's a craftably kit. Ooh. I want that one so bad. Good luck. Yeah, I hope you get like, it. Uh, what was that? Good luck. I hope you get it. I've, I haven't seen anyone sell it yet. Like, I've seen Luna Mothwitch a couple times, and then I grabbed that really fast when I had the chance. Um, but, yeah, no, Seize the Day. I haven't even – I've seen one person post it finished, and that's when I was like, oh, I have to have that. And it's a whole bunch of different um, just nautical items. Hmm. And like a screen and there's like a seagull and then I don't know it's hard to explain we might have to like pop a picture or something like that I, but, I will definitely be popping a picture good point but yeah okay, <laughs> I'll put it to you so you just have it but it's good it's it's really cute and I I want it but and it's Ooh. square I think so I've never tried craftably I had there were a few kits from craftably I thought about and I never like bought I don't even know if they were in stock honestly when I yeah. heard about them but then obviously they closed and so I just never got the um, chance to get any yeah I grabbed some, I grabbed three of them when they closed and I wish I had grabbed more because you know how when you're about to like start getting something from a new company and you're like, I don't know if I'm going to like, I heard good things, but I don't know if I'm going to like it personally yet. And so you like try not to get too many, but they were closing. So I grabbed three and then, um, I like, I opened them up and I was like, oh my gosh, these are really nice and wanted to grab more and it's kind of too late. So, Mm. but yeah, I hope you're able to find it. Yeah. Oh, I have four. I have four now. No. Oh, next. Nice. Yeah, I hope I get. I hope I get that one. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Um. What is your favorite theme to diamond painter? I guess like category might be a better word. I don't know. Ooh, my favorite has to be item style paintings that have a lot of different items in it. Like, um, like maybe like a good example would be holiday shop. Mm. For example, is it is it Image World? No, it's not. It's um. No, it's like a diamond paint studio. Happy Studio, that's yeah. what it is. Uh-huh. 
So I like ones like that because every square you get into, you're doing a new item. So yeah. I really like that. My um, Dreamer Designs was the uh, sewing room one. I forget yeah, what it's called. Yeah, the old st- stitching shop. Yeah, you have that. You <laughs> yeah. have that one. Um, that was a lot of fun. Like besides the gapping, with past the gapping, a little bit of trash. It was really really fun because um, of all the different the the hand treading was really good, and then all the different items in each square you had something new. So I love that. I think it's so funny, and I've I've talked to Courtney about this before, but I feel like we have such similar style with diamond paintings, yet we are so different as well. Like <laughs> I feel like our portraits are very different. That actually, yeah, is a really good point. Yeah. Like, we have very similar, and landscapes are a little different, but we both like the landscape. And, um, but you like cityscapes, where usually I, I won't pick up cityscapes, but I like them. I need to pick one up, because I, I'd enjoy doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar, but very different. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, like, I think that, for me, a lot of it is color. So mm. it, I would say item paintings are probably my favorite to do, but then if it's just something that pops up that I'm like, I love that image and I love the colors and I know I'm going to work, love working with the colors. But sometimes alternatively, I really like the image so much that I'm willing to deal with the colors because honestly, once you get in, once you get work done, it's just fun no matter what. So That was me with Warm Witch actually. Because I really yeah. liked the image, but the colors were just not, not it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember you saying that. It turned out beautifully, though. I agree, yeah. It looks super nice. <laughs> um, what inspired you to start creating content on YouTube? Ooh, okay. Well, um, first off, I've always been, like, a YouTube, avid YouTube watcher, especially for how-tos. And then anytime I really get into a craft or anything, like, when I decided I was going to homeschool, I found like all the YouTube homeschoolers and that's where I went. Like I, I just go to YouTube for the people because they're real people really trying these things out. And so it's really cool to see somebody's um, take on it and suggestions. I love like top 10 tip videos, you know, like uh, I love things like that. So uh, of course, when I started diamond painting, I was like, I have to know it all. I have to know everything. <laughs> I have to know what all the good companies are and what the best accessories are. So I went and watched everyone. And then I noticed that it was a really small, tight-knit community. People really did know each other. And um, there was like, I watched you. I watched Katie. I watched um, the principal diamond painter. I watched, uh, gosh, so many. Like Lisette, when I popped on and I saw that she was like finishing her stash, I was like, people have stashes. And now I'm like, what really? <laughs> but then what really hit it was um, when I... It, well, it's cool that all the different events and giveaways that people are a part of. So, um, I mean, not just the giveaways, but that just has to do with the story. So I went on and there was a new YouTuber and um, it's Ditsy, Ditsy's Diamond Den. And she was doing like a $25 gift card thing for Diamond Art Club. And it's actually her, I ended up winning. Oh. And so it's her um, gift card I used to buy my first Diamond Art Club, which is oh. um, obviously amazing <laughs> it's like a whole new one whoa you know this is what I'm thinking and then uh and it, she just had so much fun with it her giveaway and I was following her channel watching her stuff and then like I was like this is this looks fun like all these people these look so much fun so I just uh grabbed I think I started off with I have because I, I I do singing and piano so I took my um singing microphone and I took a bunch of road rams and I attached my phone to the, that and then I like, kind of finagled it over the top so I could do a whip and chat and that was my first video was a whip and chat and then yeah it just I don't even know it just kind of took off after that so that's so funny we love the makeshift creative oh, yeah. tripod <laughs> <laughs> and I actually have a microphone coming soon so hopefully my audio will be good soon but yeah oh, that's nice. kind of where it started was just seeing everybody have fun and Ditsy's so much fun she just is like She's so happy about everything. So I was like, she has fun. I want to have fun on this thing. It's been fun. So I say, as long as you're having fun, that's the, the purpose. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was cool, you know, to get the, at first I watched a lot of the YouTube stats and seeing, oh no, but this subscriber, this subscriber. And I was like, I'm going to make like, this will be a cool job of this and everything like that. And then I was kind of finally like, you know, this is stressful to look at it this way and more. Now I just, it's just fun to be part of the community and be part of something like this. It's, it's just fun now. So. Yeah, that's a great way to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
Well, I have a few random questions. Um, it's kind of random. Uh, what's your go-to order at a coffee shop? <laughs> a boba. <laughs> <laughs> Anything boba. But, you know, I don't drink tea, so I will, or I'll, I'll drink a whole thing, but I won't drink, like, caffeinated teas. So I'll, I'll ask for the milk base. And when I lived in Utah, that wasn't it. Like, people were like, oh, yeah, milk base boba. And then uh, here, they're like, you don't want the tea. You want milk. Wait, what? And they're so confused. <laughs> so, but I'll, I'll choose bobas over anything. But if they don't have the bobas, I might go for an Italian soda or like um, just like a frappuccino with something. I don't know. Yeah. I like vanilla bean things. Mm. So I'll, that's what I'll choose. So sometimes I try something new, especially in the fall, anything pumpkin. Yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> That's the exception. <laughs> Pumpkin boba shake, Michaela. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I might have to give that a go. <laughs> you think, I wonder if, if my favorite boba place would have, because um, they do the shakes, you know, the vanilla shakes. I wonder if they'll do pumpkin this year and if they'll let me bobas in it. I feel like they would, right? Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I'll let you know. Keep you updated. Yeah, keep you posted. <laughs> keep you posted. <laughs> my next. Next obsession past time. <laughs> <laughs> I guess similar, similar lines ish. Uh, what is your favorite fast food chain restaurant? Oh, <clears throat> I think I didn't see this one. Um, I would say either Chick Fil A or um. Okay, we're talking like fast food, fast food, like not sit down, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, or whatever you want. <laughs> or In and Out Burger. Oh, yeah. I've only had In and Out a couple times. Wisconsin Living doesn't exist here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like we had that conversation for sure. Yeah, it's it's good. Their burgers are good. Yeah, it's one of those that you know you get the hype for something, and then people are you're, you're, you're kind of like like a, what are the meatballs from the, the Swedish meatballs from IKEA? Mm. People kept saying how good they are. I might like lose people here and be like, no, they're great. <laughs> I, I mean, I thought they were just meatballs. I thought they were good. But um, In and Out Burgers definitely uh, was just, I, when I, people hyped it up and I was like, okay, we'll try it. And I was like, oh, it's really good. And their shakes are amazing too. I've had it. So I've had it in and out once when I was in Arizona, like four years ago at this point, maybe five years ago. And I thought it was good, but I, I still maybe don't hate me. I think Culver's is maybe a little <laughs> bit better. Which one? Culver's. Culver's. I've never been to a Culver's, so maybe I need to go to a Culver's. Is there even one near? I feel like there isn't one near. Maybe there is. I don't know. Um, by here, I think there's one in Coeur d'Alene out here, but mm. I don't know. You you know? Get, get some Wisconsin cheese curds. Yeah, um, that sounds good. <laughs> <They're so> good. <laughs> yeah, and then in and out Burger, or uh, uh, what's the other one I said? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is just, uh, it's just good. And it honestly got me through my pregnancy with my youngest. And then uh, I still like it, which is a miracle because I had it like every single day. <laughs> that our fast food like bills for the, it's just like so high. Was it? Chicken, like, not cheap, so. Yeah. But it's like, worth it though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> what is the weirdest food combination you enjoy? Um... I had, I really like sweet snacks and um, sometimes I'll put seaweed and then I'll put some goat cheese in the middle and roll it up. Mm. It's really good. It's really, really Interesting. Weird. Or like some cal- calamata, cal- what's the word? Like olives? Olives. Yeah. How do you say that? Calamari? Cal- 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 See, now, cal- now I'm questioning it. Cal- My mom cal- loves them. So I, but I don't know how to say them. I don't know how to say them either. Um, and <laughs> They're so good, so I, I will sometimes cut those up and put them in. I like anything like different tasting like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's awesome. That's an interesting combo. Never never thought about that one. Delicious. <laughs> it's good. I love that. Um, I guess since we're ending off summer, what are some summer activities you like to do with your family? Um, well, where we are here is actually kind of like the vacation home where all of my husband's family goes and visits. So we come up here every uh, for like a couple weeks every year and so now we live here and so that's always just been our favorite was uh, just hanging out with families swimming and just being on the lake 
Um, but also I really like road trips and so does my dad and my brother. So we'll go on road trips a lot with them. And, um, yeah, that's always fun. We always just go see places that we've never been before. And I love that. I love getting out and just going somewhere new that I haven't been. And I always have like these really good nostalgic memories from places like oh, the first time that we saw the Redwoods been there twice after since then just because it's so gorgeous and we just love going out and seeing new places so yeah like a good beach summer vacation and a road trip is ideal summer for me <laughs> that's a vibe that's a whole that's a whole vibe love it yeah nice um if you could travel anywhere in the world right now where would it be and why Ooh, um I really really want to go to Scotland Ooh. I think that it's it just looks so gorgeous. That or New Zealand. Um, Good choice. New Zealand has some really cool places. I have a friend that went to New Zealand and Australia area, and she just took, like, some gorgeous pictures. I'm just – I love nature. I love being out in nature. So there's just, like – she took this picture of – I forget what it's called, but it's in New Zealand, and it's all the – it's, like, a big rock wall area, and it's all the falls. Hmm. And she sent me the picture, and I was like, I have to go there. And I actually did a watercolor of it and sent it to her Ooh. because I was like so inspired by the picture she sent me. And I'm like, my bucket list, I want to go there. So that's so cool. Yeah. yeah, I forget what it's called even, but um, yeah, it's New Zealand. Um, it's hard because my my husband's ideal vacation is uh, or to like go somewhere to visit. It, he loves just all inclusive resort <laughs> and relax on the beach, which is great. I love that. <laughs> But he doesn't have, like, that. I mean, he, he totally would with me, and he'd still have fun. But, um, you know, for his time off, that's, like, not his favorite thing to go do and walk around and tour things and everything like that. And uh, since I like a good beach vacation, too, that's kind of what we do. But yeah. I think one of the things I'd love to just go to Scotland, see castles, or go to New Zealand and just see a lot of the beauty there, like, the landscape and stuff. So. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're either one or the other, really. Like, you prefer, like, that stay, staying somewhere, all-inclusive kind of thing, or being, right. like, the tourist and doing right. things all the time. Like, there's not really an in-between. <laughs> right, there isn't a, much of an in-between. I do like both because it's not a relaxing vacation to go tour things and having to, like, think about what's going to be food and having a budget on food and everything with all inclusive. You're just like, you put that much money out. You have a certain amount for like massage. I always love getting massage. <laughs> and then, and then you just, you, you get food when you want and you get, um, I always leave 10 pounds heavier, but that's okay. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. So mm -hmm. it's nice to have both, but yeah, they're very, it's either one or the other. There's really not a combination of it. So. Yeah. So I only had one more question written for you, but I realized I did forget to add one that I asked everybody at the end of the last time I did this series, but we're going to do the last question. Then I have one more. I'm sorry I didn't prep you for. <laughs> so um, second to last question I have here is outside of diamond painting, what other hobbies do you have? Oh boy. <clears throat> Lots. <laughs> oh, I feel like diamond painting is definitely kind of taken over a bit. Um, definitely I'm an outdoorsy person. So we love going on hikes and we love um, just seeing new places. I love going to uh, trying out new restaurants that I are just kind of local restaurants that I've never heard of before, like little mom and pop um, restaurants, shops and stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, so I like that. Um, I really like uh, just playing sports in general. I know it feels like since I've had kids, it's harder to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. So I love uh, going out and just like playing sports. I'm not very good at them, but they're fun. That's okay. But when it comes to like hobby crafts, I think I dabble in just about everything. So I love coloring books. I love crochet, knitting. I do colored pencil, um, just my own artwork and doodling. Right now I'm really into making um, cards. Ooh. And yeah, because I have like all my washi tape and I make the cards out of the washi tape. And then I do like with all those cards, I'll do pen doodles and then like the gold like acrylic marker over the top to add accents and stuff so that's what I'm into right now but I've done like the needle felting the uh macrame <laughs> anything under the sun because I just like trying them all but pretty much in general just like crafting itself is definitely a hobby for me I have not tried cross stitch mm. weirdly enough yeah maybe you'll have, have to you give it a try cross stitch no I feel like I wouldn't like it to be mm. honest yeah well I love sewing and stuff like that I feel like I'd like it I have no idea what's stopping me from actually trying it do it. Good. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's my next one. <laughs> there you go. Another uh, hobby to hyper fixate on and never do exactly. anything else ever again. I know, right? Yeah, that's that's a lot of my worry because I'm like, right now it's diamond painting, but if I get into cross stitch, am I going to lose diamond painting? Or you know, right? No, I feel that. I really do. Yeah, we were just talking <laughs> about that yesterday. <laughs> we're talking about this hyper fixating on the new hobby that we're doing to the point where everything gets pushed off to the side. So balance yeah oh, or or I, I also another hobby I like is gaming um Ooh. cozy game gaming sort of thing what and, games do you play um I my all-time favorite games are Zelda games Ooh, um nice. which I think totally counts as cozy gaming there too oh, yeah. Yeah. definitely <laughs> and then uh like like we talked animal crossing I love farming games so much those are so much fun and um I don't know kind of I really like artwork in general so for when it comes to games if it has like hand-drawn art or something or if like it, it just has really good artwork and a story I love it and then um love reading too yeah Not I feel like all I'm a painters are readers too I feel like it's such an easy hobby to have both because audiobooks you can listen mm -hmm. while you diamond paint makes it easy yeah. that makes it way easy so yeah, yeah. Well, the last yeah. question I have for you is if you had to give, or if you had to give, yeah, if you had to give one piece of advice to someone looking to start a YouTube channel, what would the piece of advice be? Ooh, just start. Like, um, like don't worry about all of the, don't worry about the algorithm for one thing, because that will drive you crazy. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I, I would say just, just starting in general, just because otherwise it seems too big. So like, I really, you really do like with the stand that I had before, just kind of like just making it work for you and then just sticking it up there. And then if nobody watches it, who cares? Just start putting a few more and then getting better at something every single time, like watch your videos again. And besides that, um, thumbnails are super important. Like, uh, yes. So grab Canva and learn how to do Canva and make sure you have thumbnails for your videos because they really are important. And then, um, you yeah, know, just learning one thing at a time, having a really good, definitely editing, but, um, learning those things, but don't learn them all at once. It's just too much and it'll burn you out. So that's true. Learning, learning yeah. One video at a time, getting better a little at a time at it. So yeah, that's great advice. Thank you for, for answering. Thanks for throwing that out there. I, I was like, I definitely meant to write this question down. Where did it go? It's not on here. <laughs> But yeah, what was that? I said it's a good question. Yeah, yeah, I love asking it because it's just you know you never know what people are gonna say. I feel like you always get some different perspectives, like a little bit for each person. Right. But, yeah. Um, Courtney, thank you so much for joining me today. I had a ton of fun. Is there anything else you want to say before we end this off? Um. Well, thanks for the opportunity to do this. This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun because I felt since we're pre-recording this, it's like fun that it's just us talking face to face, which right. is what we do. <laughs> that in voice messages like every single day I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, really so really glad you got to join me and I will leave Courtney's channel link down below of course um, and I think that's it so thank you guys so much for watching this video today I hope watching. you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already my channel and Courtney's channel and I will catch you guys in my next video bye guys bye